are about to enter the magic. This is basically Disney World for us. Disney Kingdom. All of Disney. This is the entry for Cabela's, y'all. We're oh. talking about Cabela's. Oh, God. Wow, babe, you're ruining the moment. pretty much everything you need. Let's go. Can we talk about how sick of boats they have? This is a bass tracker. This thing is legit. Seriously has me drooling. So nice. Okay, so this one's a slightly smaller version. It's also a bass tracker. It's kind of a nice red color. We've been looking at boats. I personally really like the blues. I think it's kind of cool, the interior blues and the out exterior being like brown or black. But this is a pretty sweet one. Check out the little dash. This is completely unrelated to what we're supposed to be recording right now. We just got caught up because look at this boat. So nice. All right, guys, after that slight distraction, we are going in. I mean, literally, this is the most beautiful store ever. And it's a beautiful red. Still to this day, my favorite red was the last trip we did. That dark red that I got, the uh, 43 inch. She was so beautiful. Super orange, you know? Dude, Cabela's fish tanks are insane. Oh, they have several reds in here. Is that a big carp? Wow, look at the size of that carp. That one I caught was about that size, but I've only caught one carp that was that large. They're hard to find, that big. Guys, this store is like my favorite. Look at the size of that kitty. Ooh, his tail is rough. Look at that tail. Dude, he's been feet up. What kind is that? He, it's weird, he almost, he looks like, um, so similar to Steven, but I don't, his Steven's kind doesn't get that big, so he couldn't be a bullhead, I wouldn't think. I think it's a blue, but I don't know. Okay, another new question, guys. What kind of catfish is this? If you know, let us know. Yeah, I swear he looks like our bullhead. Like, so similar, but... Oh, it's a blue, it says so. Okay, guys, we figured it out. Mystery solved. It's a blue catfish. It's weird, though. It doesn't really look like the blue cat we caught last week. Like, at all. He's so much darker. Dude, he looks gnarly. A little perchy. Definitely. That's what's getting me though. It's like I just feel like the fish over here has got Look at this one's too big of mouths. Look at this one's mouth. That's really weird. Yeah. It is. It looks like a grandpa mouth. He's been aging. Hey beautiful. Okay. Oh guys, when we get our pond set up, I want a big striper so bad. Or like a regular striper that grows up with us or whatever. It'd be so cool. He's going fishing. She's gonna. All right, go ahead, catch him with your lure. Get it. <laughs> yeah, they did rearrange it. Oh man, Jimmy, are you excited? Yeah. Can't remember if I already covered this, but we're shopping today for our Port Aransas trip, which we're leaving on Monday for. So really stoked and uh, we gotta get a lot of stuff to be ready for saltwater fishing. Oh Lord guys, this is a spoon area. Can we just talk about these for just a second guys? Let's just, let's just talk about this. That is so extra. You saw the size of the fish we had hitting our regular size spoons. I mean like you literally have to catch like a whale on this thing. It just, it doesn't make sense. 
<laughs> All right, now we're where the magic happens. Our spoons, what up guys? This is a beautiful section. Just being here is making me like super, super stoked to leave and go fish. I make super cute earrings. As a woman fisherman, I would totally wear this. It's a thing. merch idea. We're gonna dole the hook tips off and this is gonna be our earring sets. They're so cute. Dude, that's actually a really good idea. I'm a genius. Uh, what is that thing they say? T uh, TM, this has been trademarked. Don't think about it, guys, I'm doing it. <laughs> you heard it here first, uh, weird spoon earrings, so. Okay. You ever go into Cabela's and they've moved everything around, you can't find nothing? Yeah, me neither. You ever went to buy yourself a rod sock? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Jimmy's looking for shorts. Y'all, hold on. I'm gonna turn this around so I can talk to you about this for a second. It seems as though all of our clothes have shrunk recently. It's it's such a crazy thing. You know, I think that life is very uh, cyclical and I have never in my life gotten fat ever until like this last year. We've both gained like 30 pounds in the relationship. We were so hot when we got together. So um, we've had to buy some larger clothes and pretty soon we're gonna have to go on a diet, but it's just sort of that fat and happy situation going on right now. Um, <laughs> so yeah. All right, Lord, but did you find any shorts? <laughs> did you ever go buy a giant bass pillow so you had something to hold you at night? Yeah, me neither. Another cool thing at Cabela's is all their like creatures, they're like stuffed exotics. Wow, how could you? How dare you? It's funny because I always talk mess to Jimmy, but if he talks about to me, I'm like, oh my gosh. The what? The bat ears fox. Do you like that one? It's cute. It's pretty cute. God, these are crazy. Wow. I don't think he'd do much. Probably wouldn't eat a lot. It's gorgeous. This is like the coolest store ever. It says, look at this little cat thing. This deal? I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. What is it, a genet cat? Guinea cat? Genet? Yeah, these are pretty toot. Probably tastes good. I don't know why, but I feel like that back, uh, what is it called? Kudu bull is like staring at me very judgmentally. Hold it's on. Like, it's like, how can you do this? It's like, at, I no. can't believe you've done this. This one over here is like, yeah, that He's one. just He's like, like, I'm sick of your crap. Like, He's like, wow, really? But this one's just like, I can't believe you've done this. It's scary. Making poor decisions wow. about shoes. How many pairs of reefs have you murdered while fishing since we've been together? Just in the last, like, two years. I don't know, a lot. Like a ton. Do you see how much these cost? He doesn't usually get them on sale, so he usually gets them like $60 a pop. Look at these. $59 originally. These That's are, how much he spends. Wow. It's pretty cheap, but you never buy a set like that. Redhead? What brand is that? I've never heard of that. <sighs> Do you know how much I spend on my flip flops? $3, guys. $3. So pretty. I guess that amount right now. Okay. What is y'all's guess? I think we're looking at Okay, these are 35 e or 3535 and then 30. Uh, okay, I'm going to go 200. That's my guess. What's your guess? 180. 180? Okay. Whoever's closer wins. So if you guys want to play the game, go ahead.
probably cost you five dollars or something like that. But you end up spending two hundred and ten dollars on a bunch of crap. Yeah, I mean these are to the store and you're looking around buying stuff and you notice they sell your reef they sell reef flip flops your favorite reef flip flops but they're like 50 60 dollars a piece and you've gone to i don't know how many flip flops in your life and they always break and your girl this is a really long <laughs> this has gone on way too long it's like you're telling your life story <laughs> Are you trying to run a you documentary? Ever, you ever just go to the store and you're gonna get some flip flops, but your girl doesn't want you to buy reefs because you're just gonna break them anyway, so you get the twelve ninety nine dollar twelve ninety nine dollar flip flop. 